Hello there guys, welcome in another tutorial. So in this tutorial what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some more details to, to the hand. As you can see the hand doesn't look uh, so great, but it's because we have that square 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 shape all over the place. So okay. So right now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to edit mesh, insert edge loop tool double click on this make sure it's gonna be uh, yeah equal distant edge it's gonna be fine and what we're gonna do as you can see over here we have that that triangle here and that's not that great but if we're gonna add one edge here because we need the detail here we're gonna create we're gonna make this triangle a uh, quad and as you can see all over the place we're gonna need this this detail here. That's awesome. And the same we're gonna do here. And as you can see, this simple way we add detail and we remove this um, this triangle over here. Okay. So right now we need one more edge over here and one more over here. Also one here. And we need one here, a here one, and one over here. And one over here. Doesn't want to give me this one, but we need this one. Okay. Okay, where well, this one stops, this one stops over here. Okay, we need to go back. But adding this, I think this some something here go wrong. Over here, let's go here and put relative distance. Yes, that's that's what we need. Okay. Gonna add right now this one here. Yes, this one what we need here. It's fine. One here. One over here. Okay, on the end, we need one more. Okay, let's have a look. We're gonna add one more here and here. Okay. Okay. Right now I can see it. it's 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 fine. And as when you're gonna have your polygon tab over here, there's one scope geometry tool. Just pick it up first. Go to object mode. Select this one. Pick it up. Double click on it. And over here you can see something like this. R relax. Pick this one. Uh, you can see radius is small, but there is a shortcut for radius. You, you press and hold B, and the left mouse click, and you change the radius. Let's make something like this, and max displacement like really small. And this is gonna give us magic. And right now, if you're gonna see, it's gonna relax my uh, well, well, my faces, and gonna make it look really, really good. Uh, just just like this and now from the bottom As you can see, fingers doesn't really work well on this on this tool, but fingers we can do manually. But as you can see, our hand, our hand, it's just it just it's just amazing with our hand. Uh, to, because with this, it just basically clean up for us 
every single thing what we need. We just need to add right now a bit more geometry and um, and just manually uh, c like clean some stuff here. So, but don't worry about that. That's just really quick way for us to to work. Okay, this one need to go down a bit. Right now, let's just select those those vertex points. Make them smaller. This one as well. A bit of man manually uh, putting up the edges. Okay, so I need to go out. As you can see, there's kind of a lot of work with the hand. It's because there's a lot of geometry here, and well, everybody gonna look at the hand. It's you need to do it right, unfortunately. And what you can look and you can see, you need to as well keep the proportions. As you can know, this finger is a bit smaller than the rest. Those two are fairly the same. As you can see, this tool doesn't really work that that great on the fingers, but it's still really helpful. Uh, it's because we don't have too much geometry, and now we just have to put some um, put some geometry manually and then use this tool so it's gonna clean it up for us and it's doing a really great job with the uh, with the flat surface Okay. Um, right now, I'm just gonna clean up the thumb. Gonna go to object mode, and I'm gonna use this tool again. Okay, not using on the top. Okay, this is doing great. This is fine. Reshaping my finger. Okay. the thumb, uh, 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 as you can see, I will have to do it a bit manually. Uh, 
Okay, so that's basic hand done. Uh, well, we're just gonna have to. <coughs> sorry, uh, go here and right now I'm just gonna put this one down. Just select this. Put this one a bit down. And now just clean it up. Over here, I'm just going to need to pull this one over here up, up and over here up. And now just cleaned up, so it's gonna look like this muscle over here. Okay, how this looks? Let's see on the other side. Yeah, that's fine. So, as you can see now, building hand is not too 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 difficult just need to clean it up later on but now we just need to like as soon as the base mesh is ready we just need to make sure those ones those edges are, are in correct place no so th all of those we just need to clean up all of those gonna take a while make sure that they're gonna give us that not that flat flat face over here but that uh, it's having difficulty to select in the vertex um, this a bit curved line As you can see, we can use this one over here as well to clean it up. But, well, sometimes I would like to do it by hand, it's much better. Okay. Um, well, so that's the basics. The basic human done. Um, we need to work uh, work a bit more on the fingers um, and on the on the hand. But right now, as you can see, it's, it's looking a bit more than finger. Uh, the hand could be a bit too large right now we're gonna have to push 
all of this bit back And just add a little bit more geometry. Okay, but at this point, at this point, we're fine with this. Uh, well, that's the basic low mesh um, human model. Um, I'm just, I'm just bothered with this. I need to add some more here and clean it up. So it's done, um, and that's going to be for, for this. Um, from this point, you can actually add some more geometry and sculpt it as 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 you would like. But that's the main uh, topology topology done. Thanks.